y'all if you just knew what i'm going through right now my sinuses are just like nah nauseous you're not feeling today but in jesus name yes i am <laughs> Okay, y'all, I did something a little new today with the hair. I don't know if I'm liking it. I used to wear my hair like this when I was younger, but me being almost 40 now, it felt a little ridiculous, but I said, hey, why not do a little some something, something today and try to keep it cute for, for YT, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, let me get started with what my, uh, some of my favorites are. So I kind of categorize them with body, food, you know, that type of thing. The first thing that I wanted to talk about is, oh, my goodness so everybody i'm sure you guys have heard of growth collaborative i'm not really like on that bandwagon yet i'm still kind of seeing if it's really worth it for me but they um have this uh limited edition scent that i know is hard to find in stores that's the only reason why i'm mentioning it um i got mine from target i got this and i got the uh dishwashing liquid i love it it smells so good. I am more of a spring person. Um, like I said in my 50 facts about me video, I prefer fresher scents. Weirdly, this apple cider, okay, this apple cider um, scent has kind of a fresher scent than you would think. It does have a little warmth to it, but it's not so cinnamony and vanilla-y that you're just like, oh my gosh. All you think about is just October kind of a thing. I don't, I don't like that feeling. Um, but this just smells so good. It has just, just enough little crisp at the end of it. Um, and I love it. And so I've been using a lot of it. It's almost, I think it's probably halfway done. This has been really good and I suggest you get that. Next up is a, um, a soap that I used when I had recently gone over to visit um, Virginia. The people that I was staying with, she told me about this from before and I'd heard about it, but I just wasn't sure how it would work with my skin and my kids' skin and hair and everything because we have just kind of different needs where our skin is a little bit drier than most, but I was pleasantly surprised. There, um, she had the lemon one. It's the Dr. Bronner's Pure Castile Soap and I loved it. I loved how it lathered. I loved how it washed really clean, but it didn't strip the skin. And I actually used this on Jax when I was there um, and I loved it. And so that was something that I'm really excited to use probably going forward. I have some other stuff that I'm finishing up right now. I usually use every everyone soap, I think that's what it's called. Um, and I usually use like some stuff from Honest and I'm just trying to get through it. And I'm, I've always been a Burt's Bees baby. Um, line kind of person but i'm really excited to have that and this i think i got from target for maybe gosh 15 bucks i don't even remember but it's a lot and a, it, a little goes a long way so. next now this isn't a lifestyle faith this is just something that i felt like i wanted to mention just in case this is your thing so this is um just like the, the little packaging from this particular mask. But I had done it and I wanted to see what everyone was raving about. Someone was saying it was so great. And this is the thing, I am a mask person. Um, a lot of the masks that I use usually are Korean masks um, that I'll get from, you know, Burlington or whatever. Like I don't have like a special source that I go to or really order online that type of thing anyway but when I heard about this one I was really intrigued because Molly Sims um check her out on YouTube she has a channel as well she's a model and she used to be an actress and all that kind of stuff but um I always like her stuff because she always has great product recommendations on different things and so anyway I said all that to say she recommended Glow Recipes Watermelon Mask now this retails at Sephora for about eight dollars and so I was super hesitant because I'm like eight bucks you know what I could do with eight bucks? I could do so many things with eight bucks. But she was like, trust me y'all, get it. So I reluctantly like went and paid the eight bucks. And I got this and I waited and waited and waited till I wanted to do kind of like a pampering type of day, like a little me time or whatever. And so I finally did the mask and honestly, the feeling I got from it is it was um, very cooling to the skin because it's not a typical paper mask. It's more of like a gel 
application and then even the actual like serum like the stuff that they use the liquid that's on it is more jelly like so it was very cooling and it was nice and it felt like good and everything and it fit a little bit better than usual mask you know usual mask <laughs> like the eyes are down here and the mouth is over you know it's always all wonky would i pay eight dollars again for this i will have to say no. i would not pay eight bucks again for this this to me was probably like a $4, $5 mask. Like you can get your $1 mask, you can get your $1.99 mask. There's some $3 mask. $8 for one mask? I don't think so. But my point is, is I liked it enough that if it was $5, I would get it again. So <laughs> I don't know if that's even a lifestyle, babe. But um, my skin did feel hydrated. And I have super duper dry skin, but my skin felt so much more hydrated. It felt so much more supple. Like it did more for my skin than any other mask ever has. So on that level, I'm like, wow, it did work and it was nice. But for $8, I don't know. My next mask that I'm probably gonna try out and do a review on is the SK2, SK2 mask. I hear amazing things about that mask. And they say compared to getting like a facial, you know, whatever that is, is way worth it. As soon as I get that done and figure that out or whatever and do that actual mask, I'm probably gonna do that for you guys. All right, so now the next one I wanted to mention is a perfume. And if you guys are into perfume, comment below. I'll do maybe um, some perfume reviews because I have a few. Um, I just love fragrance and it's just so nice. But I got this as a gift. Um, and the one who got it for me knows who you are. Thank you so much, honey buns. But um, yes, so this, I do not know how to pronounce this. It's called, where's the box? Orib? She says it's Orib. I remember seeing somebody call it Orbe, but it's this. So this perfume smells so good it is it reminds me of one of the ones that i have which is called um it's from dolce and gabbana it's called um three three limb paratrice i don't speak french so but this one is it has a similar scent to it but it smells just deeper and i don't know what that even means but it's similar but smells deeper so this i usually put um when i do fragrance i put a little bit in my hair I know there's alcohol in it and it's kind of drying, but I just feel like, you know, it just has a better, instead of putting on your clothes and on your whatever, or your skin, even worse, I just kind of put it on my hair. But it just has this fragrance of, it's fruity, but soft, but also has like a depth to it and, a, and it's not too sweet. It's, I don't know what it is. It's just like kind of like a balance of all of it, but it smells so good. And the reason why the girl gave it to me she says, Meghan Markle wears it. And so you already know. You already know. I'm loving it. And I actually only wear it for like special occasions because it's in just such a pretty bottle and it's just so nice to me. Um, it's not like my everyday scent, but it's something I would wear to like church or like um, an event, like a night event or something like that, or you know, meeting people or something like that. So yes, that's one of my favorites. All right, next, let's get into eating stuff. So, they, okay, y'all know I like to eat. And um, when I went up to go visit um, Virginia, they have, like, I guess kind of like a Korea town or just a lot of Korean establishments or whatever. And one of my favorite places have, has always been Paris Baguette because they just have, like, pastries and, you know, great uh, coffees specialty drinks and like whatever so when i was there my friend was like you've got to try the earl gray latte it's so good and i like tea like i'm a tea person i drink it straight i don't put honey sugar nothing i just like to have my tea straight so i'm a tea person and i'm also a coffee person but she was like try the earl gray latte and you know tell me how it is so i get it it's so good I don't know what they did to it. I don't know what it is. It is just like a milky dream. And I don't really drink <laughs> uh, a lot of dairy products because I have like mucusy issues. I'm like, I'm not lactose intolerant. I'm just kind of like dairy sensitive if that even is a thing. But 
it was so good so when we were there i had a couple and then when i got back i was like man i wonder if they have something similar or comparable at starbucks so i went to starbucks turns out they have something called the london fog and this is um similar and it's a latte it's an earl grey tea and they make a latte um with it using milk i usually get coconut milk and then i think they put a little bit of vanilla in it as well and that's the drink now this is something if you are not a tea person you like the taste of tea do not get it um it is completely a tea drink um, but it's a little bit uh, softer in the flavor, a little bit milder because they add, you know, a, a, a type of creaminess to it with whatever milk or milk substitute that you choose. For me, it's been my latest drink that I've been loving at Starbucks during this season. You guys try it out. Maybe you'll love it too. My next thing that I have been lo uh, 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 loving, and when I tell you loving, like you guys don't even know. So there's this place, like a restaurant called Zaxby's. Do you guys have it? Comment below if you have one in your neighborhood. Y'all, I love me some Zaxby's. And my favorite, favorite thing at this place is not only like their little Texas toasting that comes with like the meals, but it, there's something called their salads. Y'all, the Cobb salad, it'll just, it'll bring life to your weary soul it's so good and i am like not a salad person like i'll eat it just to eat it and i know i need to be eating a salad but this salad has everything it's got gosh fried um onions it's got boiled sliced egg i think it has bacon chicken cheese gosh cucumbers tomato like everything you can think of and it's not but it's just so good and i and i don't eat my salads usually with uh, any type of dressing or anything but this one you just get that honey mustard and you put it drizzle all over that salad and oh, it's so stinking good you guys when i tell you this is good like my mouth is Oh my gosh, it's watering even now. Actually, I might have that for lunch today because I might just go out and, and get it. It's worth it. Next, there is something from Costco. Now they have like a bag salad that's uh, a, it's called sweet kale salad. And we've been loving it. It's really good. There's like cranberries in it. And then um, there's kale and like kind of like heartier um, greens in there. I want to say maybe like, uh, cabbage broccoli you know kind of like the stem of it kind of feels like that kind of crunch it's really good the salad dressing that they put in that is really good that with like a rotisserie chicken from costco <laughs> or a, you know a little something on a little piece of bread on the side and you got a dinner and you didn't even pay you like cook any of it it's worth it so good trust me you want that salad next this has been like a highlight and i didn't think so because i'm not a vegan type person or completely gluten free but there is this place i'm trying to look at like my notes it's a place and bake sugar cookie dough so but it's from the brand sweet lauren it's, it's so good like i've had sugar cookie dough from pillsbury and immaculate baking company and nestle toll house and i've made my own and just different kinds but this sweet lauren's brand is so good and i believe it's gluten free so it's a nice option for you guys who have that type of lifestyle next something that i wanted to um give a nice shout out to these vitamins now i am not a doctor i am not a dietitian or a nutritionist or anything of the sort so you guys make sure you consult your doctor before you go ahead and start taking any type of supplements lest they you know lest there are some type of contraindications you know or issues but i looked online it's something kind of similar to juice plus but not quite, but it has some, I mean, all types. If you look at the stuff that's in it, you know. Chlorophyll, blueberry, chokeberry, uh, black currants, spirulina, spirulina, I don't know how to say that. Um, dandelion, eleuthero, all types of stuff. Goji, grapefruit, mango seed, lots of different types. And I even think that there's something different now, like a root one, a root berry type of kind. I don't know. Um, and I'm probably going to get that as well. But this has been really, really good. And I really have been um, feeling the difference in my body because I don't really eat that well. It's one of my tragic flaws. Um, so this has been pretty key for me um, as I live my life. Always got a blot. Always got a blot. Um, my next thing is something that probably everybody and their mama has. But for me, I have just got to let you know because actually I found out, I was talking to somebody and they had no idea what I 
even was talking about. And I was like, er? this is something that everybody knows about. But then she didn't know about it. So let me hold on. Let me find it. All right. So I don't know, you know, what season of life you're in or whatever. But this is something that is one of those, you know, the real MVP kind of a thing. So traveling as a mom, just living life, whatever, whatever, you need one of these bags. And it is very, very simply a regular schmegular long champ bag. And this I have had for years. In traveling, just use it as my carry-on stuff so much. And this ticket holds so much. Not, but not only that, it also held this bag, which is my daily bag that I wear all the time. Because what these bags do is they're made out of like nylon, I think. And they're not completely waterproof but they're kind of water resistant a little bit, um, but they collapse. So you can use this, like pack them in your, your suitcase or whatever, and just only bringing out, cause you know, whenever you go somewhere, you always come back with more than what you went with. So something like this, trust me, I traveled with it. I had diaper stuff in here. I had my stuff in here. I had my kids stuff in here. I had food up in here. I had everything you really want to have this bag gosh how much they retail I want to say maybe 120 something like that 125 depends on when you get it um, for me I receive these as gifts gifts um, birthday presents from like my mom and like different things like that so um, yeah like I didn't spend my money spend my money but if you're gonna spend your money I've had these for years the quality is excellent and especially if you get them from Nordstrom whatever happens to them keep your receipt you can always exchange it for a brand spanking new one if anything happens to the one that you have or you can even get them re-sewn on the bottom if they start to get like mine right here is getting like kind of like a little hole or something like that you can always get them re-sewn I think for free if I'm not mistaken maybe I have to look into it but it's a pretty good deal the next thing that I wanted to um, make sure you guys were aware of is the an app. It is called Shopkicks and it is a pretty amazing app. All right, so this app, my husband actually got me into it. I'm not really familiar with every single last capability of this app, but generally it's a like a shopping rewards app. So they have all these different stores that you can go into and or you don't even have to go into. You can like walk by and or drive by even sometimes. Sometimes it'll pick up and you just kind of check in to these different stores like Best Buy, Marshalls, whatever. And it'll give you like a certain amount of things called shop kicks, kind of like points. Once you get to a certain number, you start to be able to redeem rewards for it. You can get gift cards, which is what we usually use them for, or whatever, there's so many different opportunities and different options in the app. So I encourage you guys, go onto your app store, look for the shop kicks app, and see how you can get started with it. I, this is no way a sponsored post. Y'all only, you guys know, hello. I don't have that type of clout right now. But I wanted to let you guys know about this app because it has been awesome for my family. We, I can't even count how many gift cards we've used up until now. My husband, I think he said, gosh, did he say over 10 so far? And these are like $25 gift cards. Like they're, it's, we usually use them at Nike to get shoes for my kids or maybe I think one time we did maybe Cheesecake Factory or just different things like that. And so it's part of being able to live a life that you're not really paying for, <laughs> but you get all these perks and, and it's awesome. So I think you guys should try it out. Let me know what you think, or maybe you guys are already on it. Comment below if you know a little bit more and you wanna give us some more tips on that app because it seems to be really, really awesome. All right, so now the last leg of this video. I want to talk about spiritual things, things that have been blessing me. Um, people ask me all the time, how do you stay so full of faith? How do you stay so full of joy? How do you stay so um, just, you know, not almost unbothered <laughs> by the world and just all this kind of stuff. And for me, it is, I'm very intentional about what I consume. I try to be really intentional and diligent about filling myself with the word and the things of God and um, you know faith 
type things. And so daily I'm listening to sermons or a lot that's on the um, my YouTube and, and different things that just really uplift and bless me. One thing that I wanted to um, just bring attention to now, because we're starting the new year pretty soon, um, I figured a lot of people are going to try to get their spiritual life kind of in order. They want to grow closer to God. I'm probably going to be doing a little bit video um, on that as well. But for me, um, this, I don't know if you guys can see this. This is one of the old OG like devotionals. It's called Our Daily Bread. And my mother-in-law, she always, whenever she comes, she likes to, you know, bless me with a couple of these. And she's always thinking about my spirit, which I really appreciate. About her, can you guys hear me? With the motorcycle outside? Anywho. So this particular one, I always kind of default to it. I've had different ones. I've tried First 5 app and um, even on the, gosh, is it you version or Bible? gateway I can't remember but I have like so many things on my phone but I just don't seem to go to it I'm not as digital as I like to be um, I'm kind of I'm a, like a I need to just touch it you know I need something like a book so this is really great because not only if you don't have a book say you don't know where to acquire these these are actually free you can write to the company you can go online and I think this our daily bread Dot com or something like that or bethelpress.org but I don't know if that's particular in particular this Korean translation because this one it actually has both it has the English and the Korean as well but of course I only read the English part but online they also have the exact they have every day posted online as well so you can easily do that they're short there's some scripture readings like the Bible in a year you can do that as well if you want to um, you know read the bible in a year <laughs> um but even they have a short little story they have a little passage that pertains to the story and then they have like a little um statement on the bottom and something just kind of get you munching you know and i really appreciate it because for me as a busy mom i just need something quick i can't sit and do the bible studies that i used to do when i was like 18 and had nothing else going on right now um it's just exactly what i need so this is something that i think would really bless your life um, there's two more things. One more is a couple YouTube channels that I'm really, really appreciating and being so ministered to. One of them is Life Church TV. Now, Life Church TV, I believe, is from Pastor Craig Rochelle and his team um, over in Oklahoma, but they produce um, services online for anybody to watch in order to be blessed. And he's going through such great series. Um, one that really like changed my life with my whole, you know, uh, dealings with anxiety and fear and all that kind of stuff was his mastermind series, mastermind series, which was amazing um, and really broke me free from a lot that I was struggling with that um and uh there's some other ones right now he's talking about traveling light and how you know what it means to to really move through this world kind of kingdom minded and and i've just been really appreciating his sermons in that series and so you definitely if there's anything um on youtube that i think you guys should be watching it's live church tv the next one i would say that you guys should definitely look into is Miss Terry Savelle Foy. Now I talked about her in my last video on um, making like a vision board. Well, she, I don't know how I even came across her, but she is basically like a cheerleader for your dream. She wants to see you get to where God has, how, how am I gonna say this? She wants you to get to where God wants you to go. Yes. And so I really appreciate that about her because she, there's no other agenda except for her to see you step into what God has for you. And she gives you tools, like actionable, practical tools in order for you to do that. But I have been going through her archives and just listening to different um, videos and just getting so pumped up about life and so pumped up about what God has for me. It's just been pretty incredible. Um, I said this disclaimer before, her voice is a little bit different <laughs> and she knows about it. She says people told her she sounded like she was, you know, nine years old all her life, but didn't let that ever hold her back from what God would have her do, which is to speak into people's lives. He used 
something oh my goodness i'm like look at this i'm like you guys But she really did use um, her life and what people said that would have been her, like, what's the word? Something that should have held her back. She actually just uses for the glory of God anyway. And she's like, you know what? I'm still going to do what God has me do. I love that about her. I talk so much. All right, and so last but not least, I wanted to bring you guys attention to my home girl, Sarah Johnson. She has started a blog and it is such a blessing to read her posts. She had this amazing ebook, a free ebook, might I add, um, talking about waiting and we're just waiting for the promise of God and believing God's word and his promises for you are yes and amen, despite your circumstance, despite what you're going through, um, that he has good things in store for you. And so I really suggest, I think for 2019, if you guys wanna go to your next level, you definitely need to check out her blog, check out her free ebook waiting. Um, I'll post the link in my description box. I definitely believe that you guys will be so blessed when you read her content and you see what she's doing and how um, her passion for people to um, just be ministered to and step into what God has for them. And the thing I love about her is that she's just so real and she doesn't sugarcoat what she's going through and her vulnerabilities and her struggles with faith and whatever that is. She just really um, shares that with you and she goes along the journey, but then at the same time, she comes out of it by the grace of God and then she kind of just pulls you along with her and says, you know what, none of us get it all right, but let's keep on going anyway. Let's just keep on you know, running this race for Jesus. And I just really appreciate that about her. And so please check her out. She doesn't even know I'm doing this. I think you'll really be blessed by her content and her blog. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up all the things that I have been loving in 2018. Um, next year, I'm gonna try to maybe do something monthly. I can't make any promises because um, even though I've always wanted to uh, do that, I might just do something like that on my Instagram stories. Y'all, I'm still figuring out Instagram stories in the first place because I never followed anybody anybody before and now that I'm starting to follow people I'm still figuring out just kind of the platform of what that looks like because all my feed was the whole time because I never followed anyone was me <laughs> but now that I'm following other people it's just a lot more congested than what I'm used to and just navigating through the app and stuff I just I don't I, honestly I don't know what I'm doing so once I figure that out I'm gonna try to post more Instagram stories and I might just do that so definitely find me over there at blooming anyway on Instagram and here please if you like this content like and subscribe I think I'm only gosh I think my goal was 125 and we're a few days out I only need about like 10 of you to to come on board to the blooming anyway family so please come on board I want to start off January with 125 subscribers and then we're just gonna soar from there all right so you guys have a merry merry Christmas I pray that it's safe. I pray that it's blessed. I pray that it's full of just ponderings and remembering what the Lord has brought you through. And it is true, 2018 probably tried to take out all of us, but in Jesus' name, we're still here and we're kicking and we're not going nowhere, all right? So you guys take care and I will see you on the flip side. Bye.